Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, covered by, come on, I mean, powered by, come on now, the podcast. This is an instant reaction to the Colorado 31-26 squeaker survival win over North Dakota State. (laughs) And I have Nick on here with me to observe my rant. He wanted to jump on with me, and I think he wants to rant a little bit himself. He's going on a cruise tomorrow, so he will be gone for the weekend. I think he doesn't want to feel left out. Yep. But I but I think he also saw that Colorado sucks. That is the exact same team we saw last year. And let me jump in quickly. Thank you all for jumping on with us. We're not live right now. We should have done this live, actually. I think. But it's too late at night. It's almost midnight. Um that's the same team we saw last year. Their offensive line stinks. They kept telling us how badass their line was. Well, how many yards do you think they rushed for, Nick? 28. All right. They ran, they rushed for more than 28 yards. They rushed 23 carries, 59 yards. 2.6. 17 of those yards are Shador Sanders, which are the not which you know are not run plays. So they ran the ball 17 times for 42 yards. They got rid of four athletic, good running backs who they said weren't good enough, who weren't dogs, who didn't want to compete. And they have, I mean, I'm not going to be mean. A guy that looked like you. Yeah. Right now. Lower your volume a little. I think it was in my earpiece. It's my headphone. No, you're good. You're good. It's my head. It was me. Uh, yeah, the guy that the guy that looks like me without a beard, um, or does he have a beard? I don't know. Charlie mm-hmm. Offerdahl. Charlie Offerdahl ran the ball five times for fifteen yards. Charlie Offerdahl was in the game on their final possession, and they did not run. They ran the ball once. At- That's why he was in, though. That's why he was in because it was for them to throw the ball, and he's probably a better pass protector than. Anybody they have on? Why are you the throwing game? the ball? Well, this, the one deep, you have the, the, one, running, you have the running game. <laughs> the one deep one was bad because they should have. If they gonna throw the ball, throw the little screens like they do because those are essentially run plays. But go ahead, Rudy. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's perfectly fine. Um, Charlie Offerdahl. I remember when they were talking about him in the spring, when Alton McCaskill left and Dylan Edwards left. I think that's his name. Was that his name? The kid from last year for Colorado, Dylan Edwards. Yeah. I think that was his name. Yeah. Uh, um, he went over to uh, Kansas, Kansas State. McCaskill was the kid from Houston who's – yeah, Dylan Edwards. You let these guys leave because they're not dogs, and you have Charlie Offerdahl getting five carries, Dallin Hayden getting nine carries for 20 yards, Draylon Miller getting two carries for seven yards, Travis Hunter gets one carry for zero yards. Look, Shador Sanders – Bought time. He made some really good throws. I didn't understand North Dakota State's North Dakota State's defensive scheme because the middle of the field was wide open, and the only people that really caught past the entire game were Jimmy Horn and Travis Hunter. Let me say this: If Travis Hunter doesn't play on offense, Colorado can't win a game. They would have lost tonight. They had three touchdown catches, seven catches, one thirty-two. If Travis Hunter doesn't play on offense, they cannot win, and that's why. Uh, Deion Sanders has no choice but to play take, him. Take, the him off game. take him off a of defense. They're not getting that many stops anyway. Take him off a of defense. Take him off. There you go. I, I don't he disagree. Could, he could play sparingly on defense. Keep him on offense because you need him on offense because y'all are going to have to score a lot of points to win games this year, the same as last year. You're going to have to score 40 to 45 points a game when y'all get the conference play to win games. Sometimes maybe fucking 50, Rudy. They're going to have to score 50 points a game to have a chance to win because their defense is damn terrible. And they bring all, all these NFL coaches and, and people that are supposed to be smart and, and intelligent because they played, and it was the worst defensive scheme that i ever seen. They're playing against a team that runs the ball, who's not good throwing the ball, and y'all are sitting in man, and y'all playing man all every day. Every play. This is not 1991. They are not running 12 personnel. They're not running one running one running back or or 21 personnel. They're not running two running backs 
and and one tight end and two receivers out there. You, you don't just play man against that, especially against what they are doing offensively. You go zones. You keep eyes on the quarterback. You get extra people in the box. If you bring the safety down in the box, this is what you do against a team that's not prolific at throwing the ball. And then you're going in man and you're traveling and your DBs are not – able to communicate and they're running a, a BTL. I call it the BTL. That's from Canada. When they, when they do a jet screen, I mean, a jet um, motion behind the line of scrimmage, behind the line of scrimmage, I call that BTL or a sub, a sub motion that they do behind the line of scrimmage. And they're doing that all game and y'all cannot communicate it, which you either you pass it over or you anticipate it coming and you get your behind over the linebackers and you get to the person and they couldn't stop it the whole game. That's simple things. And then they're getting tight positions where the DB and the, and the both DBs should be working together because you're supposed to pass something off because they are so tight and they're not doing that. That's simple. When you got the greatest defensive cornerback that ever played, you would think that he'll teach these guys the simple things of how to handle man. Just because you're a man, that don't mean you cover your man the whole time without being you not even paying attention to what's going on in the whole field. It's a team game. Just because you got your man, that don't mean you just got your man. You might have to switch. And if you don't understand those concepts, you shouldn't be running man because it's just not, I follow my man everywhere I go because you'll be getting picked all day. You'll be running behind all the trash that they got going on and you'll get caught up in the trash and the rubbish and you'll be five yards behind the receivers. And that's what happened to a lot of those plays because they don't have any communication skills going on running the, that defense that's just plain old stupid and you getting taught by nfl coaches d-line coaches Warren Sapp, Deion sanders a, a db coach who was the, a db person who played the, the best db in the world but he played man to man because it was a different time of how you cover plays you couldn't run man you can't do it but you don't do it against a quarterback who's gonna scramble all day because everybody has their eyes on the receiver. They're not looking at the quarterback. You don't have eyes on the receiver. So once he get out the containment of D lineman and everybody who's following their man, guess what? They, all their backs are turned to him and he can scramble and make big plays. That is just terrible coaching. I can't understand. I can't fathom that you would be so stubborn to say, hey, we're just going to stay in man. That's dumb. That's not smart football. That's not intelligent football. And y'all got my coaches flowing. Coaches juices flowing. Now I want to be a coach. I got to be there because obviously if anybody anybody can do it because what I've seen tonight was downright terrible. And this is Rudy Rant, but it might be Nick Rant right now because this is how I'm feeling. I said I was just going to get on here and be quiet and let's just say one thing. But damn it, as the more and more I go, I feel like how foolish the game plan was. People should be, heads should be turning, heads should be rolling. People should be fired. And, and North Dakota State, although they're a good team, if you're talking like the way they talk all season and, and these people running around with the bravado of how Dion was his whole career and his showmanship, you're supposed to dog a team like this because you talked about how good you were and you got these dogs and you, you ch changed the whole scheme and, and players and you brought in all these guys and you play North Dakota State, you're supposed to dog walk them. And that's not what we've seen tonight. They down, they, they could have lost. And going to the last drive where he Mario Crystal balled it by throwing the ball when you didn't have to. Are you that scared that your defense is that terrible that you're gonna punt the ball with 10 seconds and they're gonna go 90 yards down the field? I guess the way they all call defense, they might. They fucking might. I'm sorry, Rudy. Go ahead. That's all I got. No, 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 no. Do do you stand by your eight and four? No, I, I'm 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 <laughs> I do not believe anymore. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not from the players. It's from the coaches. I don't believe in the coaches anymore because what I've seen tonight was unthinkable. It was unfathomable. It was just I, – I just couldn't believe what I've seen with my own two eyes. So it's the coaches, not the players. I, I think they have enough – they have some talent. But talent without coaching is just dumb players running around doing foolish. They need to be guided. They need to be – structurally put in the places and, and in the game plans to help them succeed. And that's not what that I saw tonight. I didn't see them being put in places to succeed. I don't want to say I feel bad for North Dakota State, but I feel bad for North Dakota State. And I feel bad for them for a couple of reasons. One, Colorado's throwing a ball 50 yards downfield on third and eight, and it took – a linebacker basically running into the wide receiver. He has his hands up like this. He didn't they touch the receiver. With they hands. And Shador made that play. Like, yeah, Shador escaped from like four rush. They they should have blitzed, I thought. They should have brought six and just gone after his ass. They got That's pressure. Like, they got pressure, but the slow defensive linemen are, were every time mm -hmm. those slow defensive linemen got near him, 
he seemed to have a step. And get that won't happen against Nebraska. Nebraska's defensive linemen are faster than that. Those ends will meet at the quarterback. That offensive line is the same trash can we saw last year. The running game still is non-existent. They don't, here's the thing. They don't even try to run the ball. That's where I that, I know they had one possession where they, they went for it on fourth and one from their own 35, which I thought was a terrible decision. You punt the ball. Now, in reverse, I thought when North Dakota State punted, punted the ball from the 40 right before the half, they should have gone for it. You have nothing to lose. You're supposed to lose this game. I get it. You want to coach in a way that you coach? Nah, you go for it right there. Colorado had not stopped you the entire game. Your quarterback was running circles around them. Miller was kicking their ass. He finished with 81 yards rushing. They couldn't stop him. He was 17 to 21 for, sorry, 18 to 22 for 277. They couldn't stop the dude. 16 for 81 on the ground. Every time he ran the ball, good stuff happened for them. They had one play where they had a, a delay a game in the second half where I'm screaming at my TV saying the middle is wide open. Run the ball right up the middle. And I guess they got – I don't know if they, they got it off play. It they said they didn't get it off. But that dude was right up the middle, and he would have been gone. He would, I mean, it was a first down. He would have been going. And that really is what kind of killed North Dakota State in the second half. They did stuff to themselves. Colorado didn't stop this team. Colorado didn't stop them at all, in fact. Whenever well, North Dakota State got stopped, I think they stopped themselves. Well, Colorado did stop them a couple of times, and then they shot themselves in the foot. Well, with, with the penalties. The, coach, the coach's I mean, son doing some foolishness. Well, well, and then, well, I bet Shiloh Sanders is showing who he is once again. There's a reason why he's been playing college football for 35 years. It, it, because he's not – in the first half, he lays out the dude after the ball's thrown into the ground, and then no he looks reason. like, oh, my – huh? What? For no reason. For no reason other than to do it. And – what happens? What 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 would you do in that situation as a coach? Sit your happy ass on the bench. But that doesn't happen there. Well, some, no, play, some players earn no. the grace of God, grace of, of what's coach. the what's the what's the, first of all, Shiloh Sanders is not that good, but we need no, to no, stop he, he, the grace. He's a he sixth year, he's like what a sixth year senior. The grace he earned is that his dad he is says, the coach. father's the coach. There's no grace. Sit your happy ass on the bench. That's a ridiculously dumb play at that point of the game. At that at point. That, when they're in scoring position and we get off the field on third down, you're sitting down next to me. I don't care like who you are. You sit your butt down. You're not going to play for down. a while. Like that's and that is the problem that Deion Sanders has. He completely lacks accountability when it deals with Shador, Shiloh, and Hunter. And Hunter's well, a good dude. I love Hunter's Hunter. A good kid. Yeah, I don't, love Hunter. Don't cause any problems. I, I, the the image I'm going to have on on this video, Travis Hunter is God. That is the that dude is unreal. Yeah. Look, Jeremy Horn, uh, Jimmy Horn, he's making catches that are wide open balls. He's in the middle of the field. There's no one around. Travis Hunter makes catches. Now, I think he got away with two clear push-offs on OPIs. He got away with it. The second one was blatant, and it was a touchdown. But, hey, you got away with it? Fine. I think the first one was worse than the second one. I think. Really? That was when you said was they were pushing each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the second one, he was a little bit more – Subtle to the referees, like well, the, the first one was a clear. I mean, he shoved off, and the guy lost all his balance. Like that yeah, was, but I mean, that's no what I think. Question. I think the second one's a little bit more subtle to the referee eyes. To the to the to the to the replay. To us seeing the replay, we're like, yeah, okay. But the first one, it was like, okay, he did it. But I thought there was hand fighting all the way down the field, and the referees gave him like, okay, y'all were both hand fighting but, anyway. You lost the hand fight, and you got put. I'm not gonna the, call. It. But the, but hand fighting is hand fighting, not. You push him on his shoulder pad. Well, it, was, it was grabbing him. It was a lot of grabbing and tugging going on. I, I find it funny how I can see it from a TV screen, but a referee three feet away doesn't see it. And I didn't need a replay for it. Um, I need a replay for it. I will say this. Travis Hunter is the best college player in college football. He's the best player in college football. What he does, the catch he made to make it 31-20. They barely got it off. They barely got it off. Cause I thought it was delay a game first. Why, why was the referee right there at two seconds? Why was he down there? I don't I, even know. I, 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 I don't thought even they were going to reset the clock because he was still to like, me, he caught the ball like through his the guy. I, I, seventeen. I seventeen played decent defense today. I didn't think he had was that bad. Well, he that made some plays. But that, but that particular play, he couldn't do anything about it. No, that was a ridiculous catch. Travis Hunter's incredible, and they cannot win a game if he doesn't play on offense. You say yeah. don't play him on defense. Funny thing is, I was telling my kids, what do we – this goes back to what do you care about? Because Travis Hunter's not going to NFL as a wide receiver. 
He's going to receive the NFL as a, def- a, co- a cornerback. We don't know yet. There, there are NFL executives that say he should be a receiver. There, there are people that want him to play receiver. Is he really six one? He, he, he looks six small. One. He looks he small looks, as hell to me. Man. Maybe because he's maybe so because he's so skinny. He doesn't look six one to me. I mean, what were you listed at? Five five eleven five, five ten six one. <laughs> no, in, in 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 college basketball, I was five eleven, but I was five nine five. Yeah. yeah. Five, nine. I, um. I think whatever position he is trying to play in the NFL is the position he should be playing in college. This stuff where he's playing, he's playing two ways. First of all, it's game one. And I'm sure he played a hundred and against North Dakota state. He played. Now, a, I mean, <laughs> when when you need him against a good team, when you go against the USC's and play in teams like that. Okay. That's when he should, probably should be playing a hundred snaps, but North Dakota state, that's the game where you think like, well, you know, we're going to play sparingly on offense or sparingly on defense. You'll play on one side of the ball. We get a good lead and you get some rest. So 20, what's 26 plus uh, 26 passes, 43 rushes. That's 69 plays, 23 and 34 is 57. 100, 50, 100, 57 is 69. That's 120 plays. Yeah. He played probably 115 of them, I'm sure. He didn't come and he'll out. be and, and he'll be burnt. He'll be burnt he, out by week five. He didn't come out. He didn't. Uh, yeah, if he came out, I didn't notice it. Deion Sanders is a terrible football coach. Can we can we finally admit it? Can I, we finally I, acknowledge reality? He's a terrible I try coach. to defend it, but after tonight game, terrible, um, he's a terrible football coach. Terrible. I'm terrible football coach. He gives a master game, mark, master marketer. Adjustments was terrible. He, he but he's a showman. He's a showman. That's what he does. He's he's gonna get everybody involved. Gonna get everybody's watching. Gonna get all the eyes on the game. He's gonna get everybody in the stands. He's gonna talk his shit. His bravado. He, he he gives you everything, but he has to win. And if he don't win, it means it's all for nothing. And I and I get all the other good things he's doing for these kids. And he's getting these kids some extra money in their pockets. Blah 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 blah. blah. You're but you're a college coach and you're getting paid to win games. I, I, I don't want I, I don't want to hear about what he does for kids because I don't believe you. You're getting paid to win games. No, yeah, you do. He, he's man, he's getting paid five million dollars to do it, and, and I and I don't and I'll never get behind the you get you, you can do both. The, you can do both. No, you can win no, games no. and you can make them in. No, I mean, I don't believe he's done anything for in college in at Colorado. I can't speak on Jackson State, but he had his other issues at Jackson State too, with media members. I don't believe he does much for these kids. In ter- but I'm, I'm, stop calling them kids. These are adults. They're over 18. They're in college. I don't believe he does much for these guys. He cuts people. He, di- he he disrespects people publicly, and then he complains when he gets disrespected. He complains when he gets called out. He, 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 he treated the players last year that were on that team who he basically dismissed without so much as a conversation. Can you imagine if you're a professional football player and you get treated like, I don't know, this is how you know you got cut. They put a stick. They put your stuff on the street. That's almost. I'm asking thing. you. That's that's essentially what. That's essentially how these guys got treated. That's almost. They the were. NFL. Huh. That's almost the NFL. No, they called you to the office and said we're letting you go. Yeah. But you also actually had a conversation with your coach at some point before that. You knew his name. Y'all had never spoken to him before ever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Deion Sanders, it was reported not, and this is reported by players who were on that team that he never, he never spoke to them, never had a personal conversation with them. I'm thinking, as a college head coach, your first job is to actually know the names of your players, but he didn't want to know any of them because he didn't care about them because all he looked at was one and eleven, and in his brain, he doesn't believe in the most basic thing in college football development. 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 You can have a trash can team of one and eleven. And you don't really need to make a ton of changes to make them decent. What, how, how in the world did the dude from Washington, DeBoer, turn Washington from, I think they were two and 11 or four? They were, they were bad. And in one year, they're 11 and they're 12 and two. The year after, they're 14 and one in the national championship game. Now, yes, they did get Michael Penix, of course. Shador Sanders is Michael Penix. I don't think he's this good but he's Michael Penix for them. You have weapons all over the field. He cut 70 dudes and he didn't give them the courtesy of a conversation. And I think that's, and, and then he did it in a way where they couldn't latch on somewhere else. A lot of them, because it was too late. He dumped so many after spring practice that they literally had to create 
a spring transfer portal now. I don't know if they had it before that, but I don't remember guys transferring after spring practice, even five years ago. Now we have a spring transfer portal because guys who transfer in in January are leaving in May. I can't answer that one. I'm not sure. I, I, I can't either. But I think that the way he treats certain players, his coat. I mean, look, the way he treated Carmine and McClain publicly was like garbage. And I didn't like that at all. I still don't get, I don't stand by it. Now, Cormani should have stayed his ass at Colorado. But I don't like, like, you, a guy leaves, I wish him the best. I don't need to say nothing else. You're the adult. You're 57 years old. This is a 19-year-old. You're controlling his destiny in your hands by the words that you say. And I don't think it's proper. And that's the way I feel. You bring in Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp's history is not exactly great. He doesn't have a great pers- you know, public image. He brings in Damian Lewis. It's funny how the two defensive line coaches, he goes and calls the Miami Hurricanes. <laughs> that he calls Miami. Damian Lewis is a hurricane. Warren Sapp's a hurricane. Mind you, Warren Sapp was on Jason Whitlock's show all the time before he got hired by Deion Sanders. So Warren Sapp was listening to, was being paid by Whitlock to, you know, I, I the whole thing. Their coaching is atrocious across the board. It was awful last year. He fires a bunch of them, and it's their fault. Now, we just saw the same damn thing. They got gutted in the first half now. They could not stop this team in the first half. They they got one stop, and then NDSU stopped themselves. This is not... This is not a man-to-man game. If you're going to play man-to-man, you better have a freaking spot. You better have a spot. Let me ask you a question. How bad, how, how, how bad, how undisciplined? Now, okay, I will say this. Penalty-wise, Colorado was only three for 30. That's humongous for them. They all got of away, with, in, they got away with them on OP, huh? The, all of those were inopportune penalties. Though, at the yeah, they were. they were. They were. They were undisciplined penalties. But they also got away with some. I mean, they got a gift. Look, if that is not called off pass interference and that ball just lands short, really, really short, do you? If that ball lands 10 yards short, they don't even call that a penalty because it's not, huh? They can't what? call that penalty. That's how they can't. But yeah. So if they get the ball back, they get, North Dakota State's going to win. They're going to win. Colorado couldn't stop them for crap. They're going to win. They play, I mean, they 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 slowed them down in the second half to uh, what I, spin. But what, but what, what I want to they, they had four hundred and fifty yards. In, uh, I said in the second half, second half, second half. Well, they they had four fifty in total. They ended up with almost two hundred in the second half. Well, the last play, the they last went drive. for night. They went for eighty five yards in three plays in the last thirty seconds, and the freaking clock operator robbed them of five seconds, and they didn't argue it. There was fifteen seconds when they put that ball down, and then they picked the ball up and moved it, and the clock is already running. It doesn't take six seconds to spike a ball. And they didn't adjust it from the nine. Now, I don't think it would have mattered. No, it could have, because maybe they'd throw another 10-yard pass, and maybe he... He'd get they, the went 80, they went 80 fucking seven yards in, in 30 seconds. <sighs> this man decides to... When, I, when they got that P.I., I sent him text, kneel it down. There's 141 left. They got one timeout. You line up in shotgun as it is, or even if you line up on the center, snap it, run back 10 yards, put your knee down. There's a minute 20, minute 15, minute 25. Now they burn their timeout. Two plays, 40 and 40. Fourth down with five seconds left. You Snap it and run around and the game is over. It's and this freaking guy is throwing the football. It's embarrassing. Down the field. It's embarrassing that coaches don't know um time, time management. I feel like I was watching Mario Cristobal again from last year versus I, I, I what I, I text you that. I know, and I felt like I, but you thought they had two timeouts. I it was two timeouts. I'm streaming, you got one timeout, kneel the ball down. This is just what well, well, uh, bro, I, they're, I so, had, they're, they're thought, so undisciplined. I thought and, it had to be a two timeouts because they came out and threw a bomb. I said, okay. I, I said maybe I because you know you the you gotta look at the bottom of the screen for, for the timeout. I, uh, I I knew what they had because they burned one earlier in the half, and then they, they had already burned it. They burned another possession early in, on second. They it was first down, two minute warning. That we have to have a two-minute warning, which is great for college ball, actually. And then they called timeout or well, timeout, then two-minute warning, whatever it was. They had one left because they burned one earlier. The, 
And here's my question for you. Is this not the most undisciplined team watching them on defense? They literally fall for every fucking misdirection. Every it, not not every everything that goes down, like everything they're they're falling for. They ran the same play. Like they look, they ran the jet the behind the line of scrimmage motion all game, and it confused. They had no answer for it. And you watch film. You, you should because you should. You had a whole coach. six months to watch film on this game team, or or that coach because they got a new coach. Yeah. Well, they've run the same offense. Trey Lance the same on offense. Team. They're, they're in the course. same damn offense. Same thing. They've been running the same offense for years in North Coast. So you would think that you would have a game plan on how to handle this. And you would think that a team that's not dynamic, because you have these great DBs, that you're not going to just sit down there and man-to-man defense and not have a spy. or But don't even sit or change it up a little bit. Like, get some eyes on the quarterback. Get some eyes on the run game. That's, that's what the zone is for. And and to confuse young quarterbacks. I I, they, I mean, look, North Dakota had the ball for almost 37 minutes to 23. That I mean, they dominated time of possession in the first half. It was like 20 to not 21 to nine. It was really they bad. Escaped. They, they escaped. escaped. They escaped this game because they have more talent on offense. That's the only reason. I am. I'm not. I'm not surprised. I told you that this would be a close game. It wouldn't have shocked me if North Dakota State had won it. I said if Colorado doesn't win by 21 points and mud stomp them, we're gonna have problems. I don't I don't know what Deion's saying in this press conference right now. I hope to God he's not doing that dump, that stuff he did last year. Do you believe now? No, mm-hmm. I don't I didn't we're believe not, then. I still don't off, believe now. After oh. we get off here, we're gonna find out because I'm pretty sure you'll have a rant tomorrow and I'll just be trying to watch it from my from my crews. I, if that <laughs> if that man said some if, if he said anything other than this was absolutely embarrassing. Yes. There's a problem. We have to be and, better. And, and he is – and that's sh- it, it shows how – what's the, the word? Tone deaf? Yes. The first thing yeah. that should come out of his mouth is – We were terrible. We have, to be be- we have to be better. We were terrible. We were terrible. We were be better. And, and it was, we were terrible starting with me. Yeah. Because he never is never – he's never accountable. You know, he's he, never he, accountable. If he doesn't start off with we were terrible and starts with me. And it starts with me. And it there's starts a, there, with me. Every there, good every good coach says it starts with me, no matter what. It starts with me. The bus stops with me. It starts, it starts with me. I don't want to hear our defensive line miss tackles. I don't want to hear our linebackers miss tackles. I don't want to hear that our 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 defensive our our, mm-hmm. our uh, alignment was incorrect. We I don't want to hear that we couldn't run the ball. I don't want to hear that our offensive line missed blocks. Mm-hmm. I want to hear first of all, your son saved your ass. Travis Hunter saved your ass. Jimmy Horn saved your ass because this was five seconds from being a loss. If they catch that ball at the goal line with five at the five with five seconds left, they lose. Why, this game. Cause why are we not knocking the ball down? That's another undisciplined. Another thing, they, and even another the commentators. undisciplined now, thing is not knocking the ball down, and that becomes a a big thing. You know what that is? That's me first players at the end of the game where you say, "Hey, let me try to sneak in an interception for my stats. Let me go up there and try to catch the ball instead of knocking it down." Can I ask you a question now? Yeah. What What do you call transfers today? I'll tell you what I call them. Mercenaries. Mercenaries. What do mercenaries do? Somebody who's just like they they don't have like mercenaries are mer- mercenaries but mer- mer- in, in the in the in the world of war sacrifice. Mercenaries, mercenaries kill for money. Yeah, sacrifice. So what do mercenaries do in fo- college football? They're mean. They're about themselves. They don't care. They're they're there for themselves. They've transferred so many freaking times for themselves. They are me first. So you say selfish? That's a me for a mercenary is a me first person. Always. That's a mercenary. I, I, they don't I can't, ki- I can't kill them for that at a certain point. Some some of them. They got 55 transfers. I'm I just mean, saying if, if I'm what if do I'm we get, say is enough enough? If I'm not gonna get a chance at this other program and I, I got a better opportunity somewhere else, and you pick Colorado. Pro- for my professional career, I guess you could say. I mean, those guys are pros, Nick. Those guys ain't pros. But they they don't think that. They think that they can be. 
They think that in the right I don't coaching think those guys, I don't think the, I don't think those guys are pros at the lowest lo- levels of professional football. You think they, that they, I go to, they, they may have Rudy, to pay to play semi pro football Rudy, some of those you, guys. You you think that if I go to the right coaching system with the right people that believe in me who who weren't NFL players that they're going to get me to that's what they're thinking. We I'm got we got to stop the freaking bullshit about NFL players being coaches. That's, the best I, I, ones can't coach. I didn't say, I, I'm just saying what they're thinking, Rudy. I'm not saying that they're I'm not Who's saying that educating these knuckleheads that's what every everybody thinking because you've been there you're going to show me how to get there but some players are just damn great <laughs> and they don't know how to but tell would you how travis, to do it would travis hunter be a superstar at any college in the country 100 percent, yes he doesn't need dion he loves dion that's yeah. all it is yeah but if he wasn't playing would he love dion no mm. I, I, I obviously Dion's going to play him because he's the best player he's got. He was the only piece of Louis Vuitton luggage that he really brought for him from Jackson State. Because look, Shador is a decent quarterback. I don't think he's a great quarterback. I, I think, think he's a decent I, quarterback. I, I don't think he. I think he's in his. I think he's a really good, good. Quarterback. Bro, this was this was the freaking. Let, let me ask you. This is a. If this was, if this was Jackson State versus North Dakota State, who wins the game? North Dakota State. By a lot. By a lot. Because the only reason Colorado won us is their talent discrepancy between these two teams. Yes, North Dakota State has a lot of good players. A lot of great players. Probably some guys that should be division one and players. The freaking, and the freaking announcers were talking about. Hey, no. that's, the, that's the difference between D1 football and the, 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 the difference. You won by five. And no, but, and, boom. And that's they'd have lost that game at North Dakota you, State. You get away with that and, 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 and whatever. No, get away with he missed a tackle on Hunter. Uh, that was just a missed tackle. That he happened. Missed that tackles. Happen to any player going up trying to make that tackle, even if they, they are high tackles, D, right? High they D one. Tackles. Yes. And they the angle that safety, the angle that safety took is just a young player who don't know angles. The, the linebacker, the linebacker on the dump off to the running back that he has him and lost him, then hurt himself somehow, and he gets the first down. Like that was in that was third down, I think it D1 was. Double double it. That's what it was. D one double. Uh, D1 yeah. double A, that's what, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's yeah, D1 double A. Mark Jones is a Mark Jones, for those of you who don't know, was the main, he's the play, he was the he was the play-by-play guy. Roddy Jones, who I believe played in the NFL, he was the, the the analyst. I got the analyst who just isn't very good, but Mark Jones is just cheerleading for Colorado. It is ungodly obvious how much he's cheerleading for Colorado. You want to cheerlead, bro? Go watch it at your house and let someone who's somewhat objective. Because when you say this, the difference between D1 and FCS, final score is 31 26. So that you, need, you needed a heroic performance from Shador Sanders, Travis this, Hunter, this was Jimmy a good Horn example. Jr. This was if a you're good using example, this as an example of what the difference of Division One and FCS is, my God, because you know how many points. North Dakota State gave up last year to North Dakota. Oh. I'm waiting for you to say no. No. They lost to North Dakota 49 24. They lost to South Dakota. Last year's North Dakota team, State team was one of their worst teams in the last 15 yeah. years. Yeah, they, 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 they lost. I don't know if they fired their coach. Their coach quit. Eleven and four might get you fired at North Dakota State. I don't know. They, they I, are expected to be national champions. National champions. Yeah. They lost twenty four nineteen at home to South Dakota. They lost. They gave up thirty one in a win over Central Arkansas at home. They lost thirty three to sixteen to South Dakota State. South Dakota State was the number one team in the country, and they lost in the. They lost in the semifinals to Montana, 31-29 on the road in t- double overtime. Now, I don't know. I think I know South I think it was South Dakota State that won the national championship last year over Montana. Let me check that so I don't say something out of turn. But my point being, you scored 31 points on North Dakota State on your home field, your Division I. They gave up 49 to a Division I AA school last year. It's gonna it's 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 gonna be problems this year. I I I've seen enough. Actually, Montana, I went from Montana, Montana having high hope 
And maybe I'm just been a, a little naive to, you know, uh-huh. prime time, the best DB, you know, somebody who I, I, I really looked up to as a, as a player, as a player, that's my favorite player as a DB. I play DB. That's, that's the goat. That's the goat of the position. That's the person who you go and you do all his dances. When you get an interception, you high step, you do dance in the end zone when you do score. So I, I, maybe I was a little naive to, to, to fall for it, but I've seen enough strategy wise and coaching wise tonight to, to, to hop off the bandwagon a little bit. Yeah. I don't give, that's the diff, Rudy would talk, Rudy is one of the people that get on me because I would tell it how it is because I, if I see something, I will change up. It's not a problem with me for the change up because after I watched it, I'm not just going to hold on to it just because, just to say, just, just to stick to what I said the first time I said it. I will analyze it and I will come up with a different conclusion because I've seen, you know, something that changed my mind. And, and I'm not afraid to be that person. I don't give a fuck. If I see what I see, I'm going to change up from what I've seen. That's it. And that's who I am. I'm not holding on and going down with the ship. I told y'all, I'm never going down with the Titanic. I'm not playing I'm not playing the damn piano and all the damn instruments as the Titanic is going down. I'm trying to save myself and so what, what you're saying is you couldn't be the captain of the ship. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm hopping up. I'm hopping up. <laughs> I'm hopping off the ship. I'm not a captain. You got You got to go down with the ship. It, yes. It, no way. No way. I'm the, I'm <laughs> the first person out that bitch. Oh, I'm the first the one. Iceberg. I'm knocking the child and the woman off of the lifeboat, and I'm jumping Everybody in. Hit the iceberg. Got, got to save myself. <laughs> Man, I, I, at the end of the day, I, I next week they play Nebraska. They're at Nebraska. Um, Rio, Rayola, Dylan Rayola, the, the son of the former Nebraska player. I don't know if you've seen him, but he looks like a he looks like a carbon copy of Patrick. I have him, but I, I, he, I, I, he throws, I'm gonna be into college football this year. He throw I, I, like you watch him throw a ball. They show him more, you know, obviously, just like Colorado will show you stuff from their practices. One thing Rayola does do is throw is a nice ball. And last year, Nebraska didn't have a quarterback. And they played Colorado real tight for a half, but they had no weapons. That was early on. I was the second game of the year for them. They had nothing. And they had a lot of transfers, too, but they had to have a quarterback. And, and Rule took over a, a, a disaster. And, uh, you know, Colorado did win that game rather easily in the second half. But the first half was a very tight, tight game. Their offense was just so bad, Nebraska's was. But as they got the season went on, they got better. But Rayola is a beast. And that defense at home in Nebraska, this is a massive rivalry game. I, I tell you right now, I I cannot see this team winning more than four games. Um, only, I, I, I don't only thing I can give you grace for is the it's the first game. You know, sometimes you come out a little rocky, but the strategic Nick, 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 right now Utah is playing Southern Utah. It's 49 0. Missouri, sure. Missouri is playing Murray State. It's 51 0. It's game one. It's game one. Kansas is playing. I don't even know what the hell school this is. What is this school? Linwood Lions. It's 48 3. That's a high school? Uh, no, it's probably a Division one AA program. I can't imagine playing Division two. Um, you know, yeah. the. Uh, you got what I, I, I was told something earlier tonight that from one of my fraternity brothers. Let me check this real quick because I think it was actually kind of funny. He said, uh, I believe him because he's typically pretty accurate in the stuff that he says. Um, oh, some of these comments on my people looking at North Dakota State name thinking it's an easy game without doing their homework. Then people score, score, and score some more. If Rado ain't have Trav, they probably don't. If Rod, I don't know who Rado is, but don't ain't is that is that Shador Sanders' nickname? Um, if Rado ain't have Trav, they probably win this game too. Um, no, Rado, like Colorado. Oh, Colorado. Oh, Colorado. <laughs> Rado, I don't. I've never used. Okay, all the SC. Okay, um, Brody, SC I'm, teams are blowing I'm out. Take away your, I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm revoking your black card after that one. Rado, I've never heard that before. You've never heard that before. You just have to think about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it. But I put two and two together and got what if this what it said Kahlo? I, I mean, uh, you know, you'd have been like Kahlo, what? Kahlo, oh, okay, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh I, I, all I know is this this is 
they covered the spread. It was 10 and a half. Um, well, North Dakota State covered the spread, 10 and a half. Yeah, I I can't see this team winning more than four games. I, I, I stand by that. I said four and eight. I don't think I don't even think six and six is in the cards. I their defense is terrible still, man. Their defense is terrible and still carrying the ball. And if they get hit with a real pass rush, Shador Sanders could get hurt. Like legitimately, he, yeah, he could get hurt, man. And he took some hits. And now he took some hits. No, you know what I didn't like at the end of the game, their last possession. It was their last possession. He throws the ball, whatever down. I think was the the one that went deep. Was it the one that went deep? He threw one. In the, he took a hit, and they were yelling. They were yelling targeting. Said, yeah, we needed it. This you point. guys are begging for it. Like, like stop yeah. cheerleading, dude. It wasn't I, targeting. We it needed wasn't it even this close point. Close to targeting. Save, help me, please. <laughs> help me. Please. But, but anyhow, folks, that's going to do it for us tonight. I, I, Dion just showed me what he is again. He's not very good. I think he's not a good head coach. I don't think he's a good coach. I don't think any of these coaches are good coaches. They had awful game plan. They, it's the same Damn defense, Rudy. the same offensive line. We're going to, Rudy, they're, they're going to score points because they have Shador and, and two major outside weapons. We're not going to be able to ask him any questions. I don't need to ask him a question. He's going to sit here and tell us that if I don't believe I'm, I can't ask questions. I don't believe, man. I think your team is the same thing it was last year. It's not good. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, that's it, folks. Nick, enjoy your cruise, and we will see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Heck, got some of the stuff we posted up already. Right. I got to I gotta talk about that Caitlin Clark ranked number two by ESPN thing. I, I can't even. That'll yeah. get me going again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Come, on right. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now.